The city is on its way to reusing the empty bus terminal north of downtown. Work has begun to transform the former city center into a park and the new home of the police downtown substation. The fence will come down and it will be cleaned up before the Women's Bowling Congress comes to the National Bowling Stadium this spring. It is a big part, but it's right in the dead solid center of it. And, and, and it's key that that block in itself is, is key to what we're looking to do, not only with the bowling stadium, uh, with the event center, the ballroom, and, and, and actually if you even go as far as the freight house and trying to connect the freight house district to the central core. It sits right in the dead solid center. It is part of a plan to upgrade the bowling stadium to make it more enticing as the RCBA works to secure new multi-year contracts with the U.S. Bowling Congress, Reno's second largest convention. The Reno Sparks Convention and Visitor Center is funding most of the city center project with money generated by a $2 hotel room surcharge. Reno's police chief sees the new substation, which will replace a less visible substation in the bowling stadium, as a win-win towards making downtown cleaner and safer. The bike team will work out of there basically, uh, you know, 24 hours a day, the majority of their work shifts, and we're going to have saved volunteers and other police resources in the building into the evenings. As part of the improvements, the chief is starting two new programs. One is called Downtown Reno Online. It's a Google communication system for downtown and neighborhood problems. The other program is a comprehensive closed-circuit television downtown. We're working with all the big properties who obviously have CCTV downtown and we're redirecting some of their exterior cameras to pick up a lot of areas that aren't covered right now and then of course we'll use that CCTV to detour crime, uh, to apprehend people that commit crimes and to publicize uh, its effectiveness. Downtown will soon have something more inviting for tourists which will also be a deterrent to crime.